Okay, welcome. Thank you very much for clicking on. Today we're going to have a little something different. I'm always talking to you about diversifying and trying to find different ways to make income and improve things. Well, you know, I normally buy antiques, collectibles. Well, I'm still in the same niche, I suppose, with collectibles, but I'm branching out. I'm going to have a look at some toys. I was at the car boot sale this weekend and I normally walk past the toys. I don't even look at them. I'm always after nice porcelains or nice glass. And I thought to myself, you know, these are quite nice. They're interesting. I thought I'm going to take a gamble. So we're going to have a look today at some toys I've picked up at a car boot sale. And they've shocked me on how lucrative it could be. So, shall we get started? Show you the items, tell you what I've paid, show you what they're worth, what I hope to get from, that type of thing. <laughs> well, it's going to be interesting, let me tell you now. Okay, so we're going to start off. I have purchased... A set of four cars. This is the first, which is a. They are all by model icon. They're all die cast. Now, this is the Jaguar 240 police car. They're all limited edition and they're all mint and boxed. I'm going to take one out now and show you in just a minute. But this is the first one. Um, I don't know if it says the year. <laughs> didn't research the years or nothing to be totally honest with you. Uh, 2010 by Jaguar Cars Limited. So they're actually produced by Jaguar Cars. Anyway, th this model with the police car is 2010. Then I have this one, which is a Jaguar Mark II, which is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, as you know, they're all mint and boxed and sealed and perfect. Then we have this beautiful red. Jaguar Mark II. One to one point one eight scale. Right, so now I'm gonna show you the open one. So this is the, the last one. I bought four. This is the last one. The nineteen sixty two Jaguar Mark II. And I've opened this one to show you what they're like. They are absolutely mint. Never been out of the box, never been on display absolutely gorgeous they're all sealed in the boxes with the plastic covers and everything else that goes over them limited edition certificates and paperwork with them everything so they're in mint mint condition and there's a little accessory wherever that is there i don't know but they're absolutely gorgeous Anyway, I'm going to put that away for a minute. Have a look at some of these prices. It shocked the hell out of me. Now, before I show you the prices, I walked up to a stall and I asked the dealer how much he was selling uh, the cars for. And he said, oh, I'm selling them all £20 each. I don't buy cars. I don't buy toys. And I had a quick Google search. My eyes popped up in my head and I said, how about 50 quid for the four? And he said, yeah, fine. So I paid £50 for four cars. Sounds a lot of money, but have a look at these. So I came across to eBay and I just typed in the the model icons Jaguar. Um, look at that. 350 is the dearest. 160 is an average price. Now I've got this number 84 car here that they're um, selling for 149.99. I've also got what color Jag? Got the green one and the red one. Uh, I got the police car. They haven't even got the green and red one on there. So, look at them prices, right? Cheapest one there is seventy-five pound. Dearest one, three hundred and fifty. Now, okay, that's asking prices, but I wanted to show you what people are asking from. Sold prices, one achieved here, the old Inspector Morse one. Uh, 237 plus postage. Here's the Jaguar Mark II, the plain white one. I think if I got the Mark II, I got the Mark IIs, but mine ain't just plain white. Mine got the numbers on. 165 pounds sold. 150 pounds sold for the red one there. 125 for the red one there, and I got that one, the Mark II, Jaguar Mark II, 125. Coming down 108, uh, 114, 89, 80, 80. 70. Either way, I think you'll accept there is 72 there. I actually done fabulous. 
How amazing were they? £50 into four cars, and let's be honest, I'm going to price them at 95 a piece across the board. So £50 is going to go into £400. Absolutely beautiful set. They're pristine, they're mint, the box is in good condition. They are absolutely stunning. But there's more. I bought other stuff off the same stall, and it's just as good. Okay, so moving on to what else I bought off them. Bit of TV memorabilia, machete. An action figure in this box, never been opened, still sealed. And it is by, it's Machete, who pl was played by Robert Rodriguez. Of course, neither one in Dusk Till Dawn, Tarantino's vampire film. I think he was. Packet is a little dirty. I'll give that a wipe over with a simple wet wipe. He charged me £2 for that. Two whole pound. Anyway, have a look at this. So we have... Two here, one at £85 boxed and one at £128 boxed. And then for prices, again, asking prices. So I'll also show you sold prices. £59.99 sold price and £45 sold price. I was after two quid. Now, I don't sell toys, but you know what? These profit margins and prices, I think I'm going to have to start looking at them when I see them. This is fabulous. Now, this cost me £8. Um, as you can see again, it is mint boxed, sealed, never been out the box. And we have a Darksiders 2 Death Statue Collector's Edition by Virgil Games. Or Vigil Games, I'm not sure. Vigil Games, whatever it is. We basically have that in the box and it's never been opened. It is still sealed inside in the plastic mint eight pounds take a look at this so i run a search and the only one i could find up for sale was 124 pounds um in this box in the same condition as mine hard to photograph because of the reflection so they, they photographed the back of it 125 pound by there um asking price sold price 72 pound by there and one there I don't know, I think that was out of the box, 50, and there's another one there, 100, no, that's number three, 120. So, between £70 and £125. Well, love? Yes. Come on, then. Yes. My beautiful little girlie, say hello. And say hello. They haven't seen you since you was a baby. Okay. She's home from school, sick. <laughs> so she's watching Daddy work, and you love. Oh. You gonna let me finish? Come on, go colour in then. So yeah, don't buy toys as a rule. I normally have dealers lining up when I do a house clearance or clearance in any form. I normally have dealers lining up, and they say to me, "What have you got in?" And they'd normally say, "Right, well, I'll give you twenty quid for that, and I'll give you ten for that." I don't normally buy this type of stuff as a rule. That's why you very rarely see it on my channel. If it's something I like, like Gizmo or something from the Gremlins or something I grew up with, that's different. But to buy this type of film memorabilia now, as a rule, I don't buy it. However, I think you'll agree with the prices they're demanding that I'm silly and I'm walking past a fortune. I'm always the first one in the car boot cell. And some of the local dealers have been causing me trouble lately causing me grief playing up with the organizer saying he's walking around buying and i only ever bought ceramics glass a bit of gold and silver they i didn't interfere with what they were doing but i think the way they're looking at it is you can't mourn about one walking around if others are walking around they've got to mourn about everybody so now they got a reason to mourn about me walking around buying because i'm going to pay, start picking this stuff up as well so yeah what do you think interesting it's a bit of a lesson that we have to diversify into other things if something is selling then unfortunately that's what we got to buy would i rather a beautiful painting or a plastic toy off a film there's no question i'd rather the painting 
But if that toy will pay for me to buy a painting, then it has to be the toy as well. So, what do you think? What do you think of them cars? Absolutely fabulous or what? And every single dealer walked past them and left them there. Nobody looked at them. I didn't buy them cars until like 10 o'clock in the morning, half past 10 in the morning. And the car boot sale was open from half past seven. So that's three hours of dealers walking past them, not interested. £100 a car, 50 quid for four. Would you walk past them? Anyway, short video today. So, what do you think? Different, unusual toys. I think there's a new line coming. <laughs> I'll see you all soon. Thank you very much. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.